Welcome to another episode of Jam Tricks. I'm your host, Christopher Shasi, and today we're going to go over a trick that allows you to be able to mass put devices into a specific group using the Jamf GUI. Uh, so this method does not use the MUT. It does not use some advanced tool we created. Um, and it doesn't even use inventory preload, which you might think does this, and in a way it does, but inventory preload only does it to devices that haven't been enrolled yet. It'll Then newly enrolled devices will get into that group. It also has a we some weird side effects where new devices will go into the same group as well, and that can kind of create problems. Um, this is just a way to create like a quick and dirty pilot or something like that. Say someone emails you and they're like, hey, I want you to add these eight users to a pilot, or maybe it's 120 users or computers to a pilot. In my case, I'm using our test server. We only have eight computers. Um, this is going to show you how to do this. So first off, we're gonna go into Jamf Pro, uh, and we're gonna create a department. Either a building or a department, whichever one you're not using for anything. If you're using both of them, you can still set up a separate one. So in this case, I am using departments, but I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one that I'm gonna call it um, Mac OS Update Pilot. So let's say we wanna pilot our new Mac OS update process. So I create that department. Now I'm gonna go back to here. And um, to explain how this works, let me just show you an example. So if I go into the search box here and I search for a serial number, you're gonna get information about that one computer that's the match. Um, but a cool thing I learned by accident that you can do is if you use a comma in between the two computers, it gives the two computers in the result. And then if we use uh, action, it allows us to put them into a building or a department. So if we put a comma between each one of these, we'll be able to put them into a group. So instead of doing that one by one, obviously that takes too much time. Let's open up a new window. Uh, let's go to paste. And then we want to do transpose right here. Um, and that will put it into different columns. Now, the, we're going to save this as a CD, CSV, and that's really important because a CSV, if you don't know, is a comma-separated comma value, which means it's using a comma delimiter between each column. So if I go ahead and save this, I can just save it as book one. That's fine. Um, then I need to open this, so I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it in a text editor. I'll just do text edit just for this example. And now you can see that it has all these serial numbers in here and each of them are separated by a comma. So if I select this and then go back to Jamf Pro, I can just do a search like this and then I can click action, edit building and department I don't have to edit both, I can just edit whichever one I want, and I can put them into the macOS update pilot, and then click next. And if I search this, you'll be able to see these are all in the macOS update pilot. And I was able to do that straight through the GUI without any extra tools, or without doing any type of API work or scripting or any of that. Um, so there you go, you can add this to your repertoire of tricks they use on your Jamf server. Have a great rest of your day.